welcome and good morning in today's class you will see how to measure active power and reactive power for an ac circuit by using simonic to do that go to library browser and get ac source load current measurement voltage measurement and active power and reactive power measurement block to get that go to simscape go to simpo system go to sim specialized technology go to fundamental blocks in fundamental blocks get your ac voltage source add it then go to elements and get your series rlc branch next thing we require is measurement we need voltage measurement current measurement the next thing we require is power guide now let us arrange the component in a sequence you know that to measure current value and voltage value you need rms toolbox you can get your rms toolbox from control measurement in control measurement go to measurement block and add your rms block to our circuit the next thing you require is to measure active power and reactive power in an ac circuit we are having a separate block in matlab 2015 that block is active on reactive power block add this block to our circuit the last thing we require is scope and display go to library and get scope and display you need two rms one for voltage measurement another for current measurement this is our active power and reactive power machine block the input to this block is voltage and current you connect voltage to the main voltage output of your voltage measurement unit and you connect the current input to the output of your current measurement unit now we have to connect this react active power and reactive power to the scope but in the scope you are having only one input this block is having two output but the scope is having only one input now we have to con we want to convert this into a two input scope to do that double click scope go to file then go to the number of input ports here select two so select two you can see that now the input port in scope is two you go to select 3 now it will change to 
whatever is the required input to assign that value. For us, we need two input scope. So let us give two input scope. Now let us post the scope. Then let us connect the measurement to our scope. Now let us assign the value. After assigning the value, enter the simulation time. Here, in previous circuit, we have used the time as 0 0.02 second. Here, use 10. Enter the value 10 and simulate your circuit. And here, you can see that if you don't use the RMS block, you will not get the current value in display and hence don't forget to add RMS block after your voltage measurement for AC source. Now let us go and see the waveform for real power and reactive power for this slope. To see it double click the scope. Now you can see that this is your active power and reactive power drawn by the load from your source. Now you can see that you are having two waveform in a single plot. That is one waveform is blue in color and real power is in yellow color, reactive power is in blue color. Now to separate this waveform, go to settings and go to settings, we are having a box. Select the first two blocks. Now you can see that the scope has changed as assigned a single window for active power next it has assigned another window for reactive here you can see that the reactive power is this is your reactive power for your load and this is the active power this is the useful power which is used by the load and this is the power that is based by our load by this way we can measure active power and reactive power for an ac circuit thank you